So we are talking Amazon Echo, Nabucasa. What's the other thing? So we are talking Amazon Echo, Nabucasa, and Home Assistant, and how they work together. Is we're gonna delete all of our discovered devices from the Amazon Echo database. So from the voice service, we're gonna delete them all. And I wanna show you basically how Home Assistant becomes the, 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 the source of truth for all of these devices. So we're gonna delete everything. We are gonna rediscover everything. We're gonna clean that database up. There's some benefits to it. Super easy, super fast. Let's get into it. So within Home Assistant, I have all of my components enabled in my configuration.yaml file. So we can go here, we have our groups enabled and we're including switches, covers, and input booleans. If we flip over to the Madame A website, so the Amazon website, I can see all these devices. A lot of them, I made a lot of changes to the environment, so some are valid, some are not. Um, but if you go to Smart Home and you click devices, you should see a long list. These are all being fed from Home Assistant. And I do have a Nabucasu subscription, so this, this enables this, uh, this back and forth between Amazon and Home Assistant. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna forget them. You can forget individual devices one at a time, but if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can just forget them all. I have 184 devices in here. I don't know if they're all valid, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna forget them all. I don't have to worry that I'll lose anything in my Amazon configuration because when I rediscover, they're all gonna come back from Home Assistant. So we're gonna do a quick rediscover. This takes a couple of seconds. It's querying Home Assistant right now to find out which devices we're gonna show within Amazon. So they're being presented. This was the old uh, Hue emulator, which was what we used to use, but now we're using the Nabucasa uh, integration. So as long as you have Nabucasa, all these Amazon devices will be presented to Amazon. So all, all of your home, all of your home assistant devices will, pre will be presented to Amazon. So this discovery is almost done. Let's see how many devices come back. We had 184 before, but I think a lot of them were just duplicates and unresponsives, and I've made lots of changes to the network. So I feel like this is a good process every so often to just sort of do to your Amazon account, just to make sure it's all nice and clean. So here you go, they all come back. This is switches, groups, input booleans, and lights that were found within Home Assistant. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll to the bottom and we are gonna see now we only have 117 devices. So about 60 devices, give or take, were duplicates, things I had uh, replaced, taken offline, whatever the case may be. Now they're cleaned up out of Amazon, which again, when you clean Amazon every so often, it makes your voice control much better because it won't come up with duplicates. Uh, she'll be able to understand what you say. There won't be any confusion about what you're trying to do. So this process is super easy, super quick. I feel like it's a good maintenance item that you should do every so often on your uh, on your Madame A's. And yeah, this worked great.